When more serious player development first started to make an appearance for the Marlies, it wasn't embraced wholeheartedly, but one comment that kept coming back was that these were some interesting drills, and as the days turned into weeks and players started using the information in games and offense kept coming along for the ride, the acceptance became anticipation of how to fit in more development days. In a place like MasterCard Center, the Marlies utilize every inch of every pad of the NHL-sized ice to produce results in their prospects. These are important days. We haven't had enough of them this, uh, to this stage of the season, just given the schedule, a lot of midweek games that break up uh, the development days that we like to have, and we think we can make great progress with the players individually and as a team. Uh, so it's nice to have one of these days, and we've got a couple more here to come. Senior Director of Player Development Scott Pellerin leads a group of staff and consultants that play a significant role in finding out just what a player needs to be to be more effective. Pellerin started out his pro career as a Hobie Baker winner and developed into an NHL player with 536 games to his credit. He was an assistant coach with the Manchester Monarchs, the AHL team that was the King's top development squad and maintained a level of success that led to the Calder Cup. 19 players have been pushed up the development ladder by Pellerin's group since he arrived in Toronto. Stefan Robida is the director of player development. Well, you can't teach toughness. He's a great example of it. Not many hockey fans will forget a night when Robida had his jaw broken versus Phoenix, missed maybe a couple of shifts, and then finished the game. His study of the game has led him to be a vital piece in the learning machine here with the Maple Leafs and the Toronto Marlies. Haley Wickenheiser, well, not to sound like Crocopedia here, but her accomplishments are beyond reproach. Four-time Olympic gold medalist, 379 points in 276 games, and of course is studying medicine at the University of Calgary, you know, because what's the good of achieving if you're not trying to overachieve? Mike Ellis runs HockeyDetail.com, and if you were thinking you'd like to work with a guy who knows things about weight transfer and tactical advantage, you'd be hard-pressed to get into his schools uh, at the drop of a hat, but it might be worth a try as the information he passes along when employed makes a subtle difference, which at this level is all the difference. Daryl Belfry is not going to ring a bell for you, but the people he works with are all the names you know. For a while, you could think of Belfry maybe as the hockey equivalent of a swing coach in golf, but that description doesn't do it by half. Belfry is more like a, a private offensive coordinator that finds sequences in practice that end up being highlight reels in games. And Barb Underhill. If you've never appreciated figure skating, all you really need to do is get out to watch her work with the prospects of the Toronto Maple Leafs and see some of the ways she makes a turn and how she moves on the ice, and it is just pure joy. And then she finds the economy in nearly everyone's stride. Well, it's like watching it when they get it. It's like watching the best aha moment ever. Player development stretches out well beyond the Marlies into all the Leafs prospects in junior, but here at MasterCard, it is put into high gear and driven hard.